Hello and welcome to this 2K Sports presentation of the WNBA. Tonight we'll see the New York Liberty as they play against the Atlanta Dream. Thanks for joining us. I'm Blake Suniga here with Brian Banifatemi and Tim Swartz. This could be a terrific game. We've got two of the most up-tempo teams in the league. All right, these are my favorite types of games. They're very similar in terms of style. And it's not just about uh, running the floor. It's about defensive intensity, too. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, so often, these battles between fast-paced teams boil down to who plays better transition defense. Hands it from downtown. Well, Stewart doesn't hesitate when she gets a look she likes. She gets her feet set quickly and shoots with confidence. Pass to Parker. Howard. And a great assist by Cheyenne Parker. Oh, some quick uh, retaliation right there, huh, guys? Yeah, sure didn't take him long to go and get those three points back. Now here is Stewart. Here's Han. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Entering the league as the second tallest player in WNBA history. Nobody should be surprised at Sue collecting offensive rebounds. Now here's Howard. He has five. Gray outside. Six to shoot. And a miss there on the triple. Very close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Not a great habit to get into, letting her get that wide open. Pass to Ionescu. Back to Laney. On. Drills it from outside. What a decision from Laney, moving the ball, creating a great look. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. Outside McDonald. Pass to Gray. And here's Billings. For three, Ryan Howard goes right through for bucket number three. She's a perfect three for three. What a big shot right there. The defense hits one three, so Howard goes to the arc and drains the answer. With lots of players sitting out that 2020 wobble year, there was so much opportunity for others. And really, one that, that took advantage was Benajah Laney, averaging over 17 points per game, tripling her uh, previous output, and uh, she parlayed that into a 2021 All-Star Game knock. Incredible. Now, here's Parker. The three-pointer off the mark. Ionescu outside. Let's it fly. And the first shot of the night for her. No good. The dream trail. Now here's Howard. Eight points for her. Pass to McDonald. Parker. Shot clock at six. Here's Gray. Here's Billings. She can't get that one. Laney with some nice D. Ionescu outside. Inside, Jones. Up and in on the layup. Brushing off the defense. This is why Jones is so loved in the locker room. She is so tough out there, tough to guard. Just a great teammate. McDonald with it. Wyatt so far offensively searching for first points of the game. A shot by Parker, no good. And it's New York's ball. A four-point game. Ionescu outside. Picked by Jones. Rebounded by Parker. But he got away with a major lap step. Here's Billings, guarded by Jones. Pass to Billings. Howard. To stop the drought. 
inside McDonald. Here's Gray. Gray is screen. There's the triple. And Laney pulls it down. Down low. And Jones gets it to go. That's the third bucket in a row from the paint. And I know nobody likes a traffic jam, but this defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Yeah, nobody likes a traffic jam. We can agree on that. They can't allow the offense to get those high-quality looks inside. Atlanta calls timeout. Liberty making the change here. Pass to McDonald. Tries to snap the cold streak. The three-pointer is on target. A younger player who loves to learn and loves to improve. I don't think it's crazy to say that Gray will be unstoppable when she develops a consistent long ball. Here's Johannes. Outside Stewart. They waste no time getting those three points back. And their offense already flowing. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. They're getting great looks, and they're capitalizing. You know, they have to be pleased with this start offensively. Now here's McDonald. Looking for a first basket still in this one. Parker, good. Works hard moving without the ball. You know, Parker's a player whose value goes beyond the box score. Outside, Stewart. Picked by Jones. And it's Stewart missing. On an open look like that, she's just got a gift for making the weak coverage pay. That's a surprising miss. Uh, she's almost always deadly when she's that open, even from way downtown. Triples keep on falling, guys. Three in a row now. These defenders can't stay so soft on the perimeter. And so it's New York with it. Pass to Han. Jones outside. On a screen. Johannes. From the yard. One up, one down. She makes her first shot in this game. Only took them a few seconds to answer the three ball at uh, one end with their own. A three-point battle starting to take shape here. Now here's Gray. Pass to Billings. There's a screen. McDonald with it. Down to five on the shot clock. Top of the key. Misses that one. She's 0 for 1 from the floor. New York leading to the left side wing. Now Jones, guarded by McDonald. Here's Johannes. John Paul Jones from long range. 
And again, it's the Liberty from deep. The league's first woman from the Bahamas. That's about where Jones shot that ball from. And here's McDonald. Pass to Parker. Howard. And a great assist by Cheyenne Parker. She's leading the way offensively. Can they ride her back into it? Yanescu outside. Three-pointer, Brianna Stewart. Got it. She's now three for five from the field. And the defense looks stud. I mean, Brian, it is triple after triple. Yeah, they seem powerless to stop it. Just hoping they cool off, I guess. It's going to take more than hope, though. It's going to take some actual defense. Absolutely. Now here's Howard. He's got 14. And Atlanta, another bucket. There is not much more you can ask of a player to start the game. She is six for seven early. Now Johannes. Stewart with the screen. And here's Johannes. On a screen. Here's Stewart. And the Liberty getting another bucket right there. She has shot the ball exceptionally well as they've built this lead for themselves. Pass to Billings. McDonald. Here's Parker. Off target from three-point range. Yeah, her touch has deserted her this quarter. Nowhere to be found. Now Stewart. Jones outside. Back to Stewart. Over Gray. Jones. It's good on the putbacks. They haven't wasted any time getting into the swing of things on the boards. And even this early, that's a good omen for the rest of the game. Now here's Howard, defended by Stewart. To the paint. Here's Parker. That's in, coming off an assist from Ryan Howard. Bringing hustle and heart to the court. Parker has become indispensable for her team. And they're scoring pretty well as we conclude the first quarter. Liberty out in front, leading by six. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. Second quarter just getting set to begin. And taking a look at the Liberty performance here. Guys, what are your thoughts? Well, we've seen them really get out and establish an offensive rhythm. And they're finding ways to score, you know, playing well and getting good offense. Here's Johannes. Pass to Jones. Shoots over Coffey. And Jones gets it to go. A face-up forward slash center with an ever-expanding skill set. Jones is a bright young star. Well, you talk about elite two-way players in the league. John Quell Jones, she is on the short list. Yeah, she's earned first-team all-defense after leading the league in blocks and rebounds. And then at the same time, you see her ability to score inside and out. There's really not many holes in her game. Now here's Jones. It falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's an 86% accuracy mark. Gray outside. Robinson. Pass to Howard. Ryan Howard has doubled. Savali with the steal. Here's Johannes. Robinson covering. Now here is Thornton. Johannes. Clock at six. And here is Dolson. Shoots. A 
chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Pass to Gray. Lays it up and banks it in. How about Gray rising up when challenged by defenders? And that's the mentality coaches love to see. And it's New York's ball, leading by five. And here's Johannes, Robinson covering. Now Jones. Six on the shot clock. Back to Sabali for three. And he here grabs the board. Gray outside. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Here's a me here. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Stephanie Dolson picks one up. During her college career, Leticia Amihir scored just about six points per game, but she still was a top 10 pick in the draft. That tells you her intangibles, her defense, her all-around game off the charts. And she can't get the first one. And since the age of just 15 years old, Leticia Amihir was playing international basketball for Canada. That experience really played a part in her development. Now, Amihir is ready to show that she belongs in the WNBA. She hits the second from the line. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played. Pass to Jones. Drills the three-pointer. And with Jones, she has the threat of the three ball. And that's the basis for her game because he opens up the whole court for her on offense. Clears the way for monster, monster point totals like tonight. Now here's Durr. Robinson with the ball. Coffee guarded by Jones. Here's Durr. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Laney outside. Pass to Dolson. And a great assist by Laney as that one goes in. As a defensive player, there are few players in this league I'd want to see less in this situation. Dolson coming off the pick and roll with her skills. Good luck. Outside dirt. Here's Gray from past the arc. Rebounded by John Quell Jones. And almost four minutes gone in the second quarter play. Puts it up from seven. Again, the Liberty good for two. And that'll raise their field goal percentage even more. They're enjoying a big edge in that category. And that's because they've been playing smart basketball. They've been very patient offensively, and their shot selection has just been great. Such a high IQ on this team. Gray with the bucket. He set her up. Gray always looking to shoot it. New York in the lead. Outside. Pass to Johannes. Pulls up on the elbow. And she gets the jumper to drop. She's got such a quick trigger from that range when she senses the defenders have backed off her. Outside dirt. Gray. Now here's Coffee. Let me hear a screen. Four on the clock. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get it off in time. 
Well, we're all so happy to have Brittany Griner safely back home. <laughs> and it's a bonus that she's able to play in games and at a high level at that. Well, let's give it up to the league. I mean, they had a huge part in getting Brittany back from Russia. All of the advocacy, celebrating her, just keeping her in the minds of sports fans. Well said. We should also give props to the players. Many went above and beyond in their support for Brittany. Timeout called the Liberty. make substitutions. Yanescu <laughs> outside. Back to Laney. Stewart. Shot clock at six. And she finishes nicely on the layup. And now we see them really working it inside. Yeah, getting quality looks around the rim. That's fueling this run. Here's Billings. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Pass to McDonald. Billings. And here is Howard. Ryan Howard has doubled to the inside. Here's McDonald. Out to the wing. Here's Billings. Defended by Stewart. For three, Ryan Howard. New York with the rebound. Yeah, she didn't punish them for the weak coverage that time, but they just can't count on her missing. Absolutely, Brian. She's got to go right back to that shot. Now here's Ionescu. The 12-point lead, their biggest of the game. Nice D there from Ryan Howard. If they could end every possession with that shot, they'd be happy. Because nine times out of ten, that's an easy layup. McDonald with it. Working on Jones. Back to Parker. On the wing, Ryan Howard. Shot to end the cold run. In it goes for the eighth time in ten attempts. They're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five buckets are from three-point range. The defense, they have to close out quicker. Now here is Yanescu. And so it looks like Liberty will retain possession here. She had no choice but to lunge for that pass to make sure it didn't get through. Yeah, and that was important because probably would have been a quick two points if she doesn't knock it out of bounds. So I love that effort level. Thornton outside. Back to Laney. Stewart. Ionescu outside. Good. And Brianna Stewart gets the assist. Great job to find the open teammate. Stewie has very solid vision. Here's McDonald. She hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Pass to Durr. Parker. On the wing, Ryan Howard. Parker with the screen. Now Durr. Six to shoot. Fires from deep. 
That's a no-go. And she's still looking for her first bucket after two shots. Ionescu has it. And Parker picks her up defensively. Left side, Stewart. Ionescu outside. Laney. Stewart up top. Takes the three. Doesn't get it to drop for her. She may have been surprised to find herself so open. Maybe that's why she missed. Pass to Parker. McDonald. Outside Howard. Beyond the arc. It drops. That's her ninth field goal of the contest. A blistering hot nine for 11. And so it's New York with it. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Ionescu outside. Outside Stewart. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. She's starting to pick up from what she accomplished in the first quarter, where she made three of her three-point attempts. And one of the league's best players, Stewart is the kind of star who can single-handedly help you contend for a title. Well, she knows what it takes to get there and finish the job. Now, she does need some help because teams are too good now. You need that balance. But when you have it, she will lead you into the championship discussion every single time. Just three to shoot. Here's McDonald. No good from 18. Ionescu outside. Goes up on the baseline, and it's good. Two points. Not ignoring the middle part of the court. The more of these that Ionescu hits, the more space she'll get to operate. And the dream call time here. Really, they're not pleased at all with the looks they've given up inside, and they want to talk to the team about tightening things up defensively. Well, that's what's got to happen, and I'm sure the coaches will let them know about it. I mean, they're playing some soft interior defense, and that's a recipe for disaster. Here's Durr. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Outside, Parker. Pass to Howard. Outside, Durr. Five to shoot. Gets to the rim for two with a D all over her. Not nearly as many threes from them here in the second quarter. They were shooting well early on. I like their spacing. I think they should go back to that. Man, these guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assists. When everybody's involved offensively, it's in a way helping you defensively too. Now here's Jones. 16 points for her. Pass to Han. Laney on the wing. That's in. Coming off an assist from Han Shu. They just continue to splash those threes. Eliminating the deep shot has to become priority number one for this defense. Yeah, absolutely, Brian. You can't keep giving up that many points behind the arc. And here's Ryan Howard from the arc.
And so that brings the first half to a close. It's the Liberty up by 15. And don't go away after the break. We'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. Welcome back. Third quarter just about to get going in what has been a runaway of a game so far. Oh, and there's no way around it. Ryan Howard has been sensational. Her decision-making, simply flawless today. Nothing but quality shots from her in the first half. She wasn't forcing anything. Yeah, but I think here in the second half, they may want her to be a little more assertive and start taking more shots, even the tough ones. And as we begin the second half, first half wasn't even close. And we'll see if there is a comeback on our hands or more of the same as we get the third started. Ionescu outside. Fades. Pass to Stewart from deep. Good, and Sabrina Ionescu gets the dime. Well, I think she, she owes the three-pointer dinner because it's been her best friend today, no question. Well, it has been today anyway. I mean, look, most of her points have been courtesy of the deep ball. Now here's Gray. On the wing, Ryan Howard. Parker with the screen. Gray outside. Three-pointer. And Jones pulls it down. So many games are decided by which team wins the rebound battle, and that's held true in this one, Tim. Yeah, Brian, their effort on the glass, it has given them the advantage. It's made a difference without question. Stewart, basket number eight is all good. She's attempted 12 shots. Assists like that have typified their effort today. Great ball movement. Great ball movement indeed. That's an example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Now here's Parker. She has five. Got it. Good job in the low post. An intimidating physical presence. Parker is at her strongest playing inside. Now here is Ionescu. She's got five. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Back to Stewart. And the layup falls. Their second half has started well. They've been good on three of their first four attempts. I like to see that. A difficult situation for Atlanta. Outside McDonald. On the wing, Alicia Gray. Let's go with a three. Rebound, New York. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes pass. Ionescu outside. Jones outside. Here's on. And she battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. What a mismatch it's been in the post. I mean, where's the defensive adjustment? They're just getting time eaten out, alive out. out there. Yeah, I agree. They got to come up with something. A double team, maybe a sub. This is getting ridiculous. And the dream call time here.
Gray outside. Pass to McDonald. Parker. That's good, and it's Harry McDonald with the assist. If you were looking only at the way she's played offensively, you'd think her team was ahead. Here's Stewart. 23 points in the game. Brianna Stewart draws the double. Clock at six. Benajah Laney from deep. That shot, no good. Atlanta with the ball. Trailing by 19. Second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. Outside Howard. Brian Howard has doubled. McDonald defended by Stewart. The tray. And again, Atlanta with the triple. I tell you, she loves getting looks like that from three-point range. Just nobody near her. Ionescu has it. McDonald picks her up. Now here is Ionescu. Guarded closely. Pass to Laney. Solid play on the low block, and that one's good. Great read by Ionescu at just about six feet. Sabrina is pretty tall for a one. She's able to see the whole court. Outside McDonald. Gray jacks up a three. Yes, it is. Score that as basket number five on a five for 11 night. She's putting on a commanding performance here. She's now hit two three-pointers in each half now. Now here is Ionescu. She has five. Screen by Stewart. And there's the foul. It's on Cheyenne Parker. That's her first foul. And these calls, they can be some of the, the toughest calls for officials to make. But in this case, I think she got it right. The defender still moving there and never really got set. Laney with it. She has seven. Just five on the clock. The shot from 20 feet. Second chance shot. And Jones with the lay-in. They've shown some strength in the paint. Their work on the boards has been phenomenal. Yeah, and that's putting it mildly, guys. They've been absolutely dominant. Now here's McDonald. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Howard defended by Stewart. And stolen by Ionescu. Now Stewart. She's got 23. Pass to Ionescu. Over Gray. Ionescu, that's good. Here's McDonald, the National Player of the Year in college. Sabrina Ionescu was a triple-double machine at Oregon. Shattering the all-time record for collegiate triple-doubles, Ionescu was the first-ever 2,000 points, 1,000 rebounds, 1,000 assists player ever, and she has brought that versatility from the college game here to the pro game. And the dream call time here.
Howard. Coffee outside. There's the three. That's good. And it's Ryan Howard with the assist. 12 straight points off of three pointers, and the D looked shell shocked. And now that they're rolling from out there, you've got to get it in their jersey and try to deny those looks. Especially how well people shoot threes these days. Now here is Ionescu. She has seven. Makes it off the glass. Yeah, Plays so tough inside. Ionescu will not back down. Coffee outside. Pass to Gray. From outside the arc. On grabs the miss. Physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team, and that 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Not to mention what it says in the scoreboard. They're really pushing them around. Now here's Han. Back to Inescu. Here's Johannes. Just four to shoot. Let's it go from deep. Buries it from three-point range. You know, she caught a glimpse of the open player on the perimeter and sent the pass right over. And Atlanta has possession. Gray outside. On the wing, Ryan Howard. Pass to Gray. Launches a three. Good on the three-point shot. Boy, Ryan, that's five straight made three-pointers. The defense giving up a barrage. Most teams get the message to cover shooters after one or two wide-open threes, but they just aren't figuring it out. You go out there and tell them, Brian. Okay, maybe I will. Here's Johannes. She's got ten. Now here's Jones. Defended by Coffey. Jones left side. So she gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. Two shots. Next. First personal foul. And one of the many impressive things about six foot six, John Quell Jones, her three point shot. If you go back to a rookie year, she made just 11 threes, but Jones has put so much time into her shot, perfecting it. And then, you know, year three, Jones shot it 47% from deep, second best in the WNBA that year. And the first one at the line is good. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Both shots good from the stripe. And here is Howard. 25 points in the game. And so she draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. It's going to be on John Quell Jones. That's a courageous play by Howard. Taking the foul, but still getting her shot in the air. And so much success for Ryan Howard coming into the W. The number one pick, rookie of the year, and an all-star as a rookie. And I think her trajectory is clear. She's working to improve her shooting percentages and getting back to that elite efficiency we saw at Kentucky. That free throw, no good. The top pick of the 2022 draft, Ryan Howard had no issues adjusting to the pro game. Well, in addition to winning Rookie of the Year, Howard was also named an All-Star, scoring 16 per game, and just a great personality, a fantastic addition to the league. And she sinks the second. Here's Johannes. Ten points for her. Thornton outside. Pass to Stewart. Brianna Stewart draws the double. Kayla Thornton, and that's good. A solid shooter from downtown. When Thornton gets daylight, she doesn't waste it. Now here is Robinson. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Outside dirt. Now here is Howard. 
Durr. That's in. Coming off an assist from Ryan Howard. And add another three-pointer to their second half total. They came out of the break dropping bombs and are just not letting up. You love to see that. Here's New York now. 22 was their biggest lead. Pass to Jones. Let's it go. Oh. Off the mark there with the three. Durr with it. Covered by Thornton. Oh. And the shot count. She's fouled. That's a chance for a three-point play. They're not being as aggressive from the three-point line anymore. And they had a lot more attempts in the first half. And the Liberty making a change here. Liberty with possession here. 16 point lead. And Durr pulls it in. Outside Howard. Back to Durr. Watches it. Connects from three point range. That's some good awareness from Howard right there. She is excellent at getting the ball to her open teammates. Here's Johannes. She's got 10. Gordon outside. Pass to Johannes. Jones outside. The three. And Durr pulls it in. The defense better watch out because she can make those three balls as we saw in the first half. Here's Coffee. Howard. Over Thornton. And there's another one for the dream. And Howard continues to deliver on the offensive end. The defense is lost. They don't know what to do. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. It's the Liberty up by 11. We'll be right back to the action when we return. Here's Atlanta. They trail by 11. Outside Durr. Back to Robinson. Pass to Gray. Three-pointer. Good on the triple. He has a lot of points from long range this half. He's taking advantage of a tired defense. Laney outside. Back to Ionescu. Here's the three. Makes the bucket. She's now got five field goals. Five for eight on the game. And she had one in the first as well. And look, we all know that she can be dangerous from downtown. So the defense can't forget about her. Now here's Durr. Back to Gray. From downtown. And it's Dolson with the rebound. Plus eight in the rebound differential. Oh, one more reason they have absolutely just controlled this game. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative for sure. And it started out with the rebounding. It sets a tone. And a shot goes in. I mean, seriously. How do you stop Ionescu in the pick and roll? She can beat you in basically every single possible way out of this set. Now here's Gray. Outside dirt. Stolen by Laney. Oh, and the fast break for the Liberty. Here's Johannes. And it's off from three-point range. And here are the dream. It's a 13-point game. Outside dirt. Pass to Robinson. Shot clock at six. Gray. Offline with the three. 
Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Sabrina Ionescu from outside. Sinks it! What range from downtown. She's finally getting the feel for the deep ball. Her second three of the half right there. Now here's Gray. Defense right on her. Screen by Coffee. Knocked loose. Robinson up top. And once again, off the mark by Atlanta. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it. Pass to Laney. Picked by Thornton. From 18 feet away. Laney, guarded by Durr. Ionescu outside. Johannes. Thornton with it. Shoots over Coffee. Thornton's shot is good. They've done a great job of getting offensive rebounds and then converting it here in the second half. Now here's Gray. D right on her. Screen by Coffee. Looking to end the run. Gets a three-pointer to fall. Well, this is why Coffee's on the team. Stretch the floor and knock him down. Pass to Johannes. Back to Ionescu. From about 19 feet. And the Liberty getting another bucket right there. She has put her foot on the gas pedal this quarter. She's doing a tremendous job leading their offense. A little over three and a half minutes in the books now for this fourth quarter. Outside Robinson. Durr up top. And here is Gray. They double her with Dolson. Five on the clock. Here's Hillman. And there's another one for the dream. Now Ionescu. Laney outside. Pass to Johannes. Now here is Ionescu. Here's Thornton. Six to shoot. And again, it's the Liberty from deep. Well, you have to run Thornton off her shot. You simply cannot let her get comfortable in the catch and fire. Here is Robinson. And here is Gray. And good. Coming off the assist by Danielle Robinson. How about that for a response? We'll give you a three, and then we'll take it right back. It's turning into a three-point contest. Here's Johannes. Back to Inescu. Shoots over coffee. So the whistle blows on the shot. Two free throws for the contact there. Second personal. And during that 2020 virtual draft, there was no doubt about who go first. I mean, it was Sabrina Ionescu all the way. Drafted by the Liberty, Sabrina had a level of hype that we had really never seen. Uh, somebody entering the league. Her jersey selling out on draft night, and what a player a she's been. Two shots. And the first one falls for her. Well, Sabrina Ionescu was the no-brainer choice for the top pick in the 2020 WNBA draft. And with her unique skill set, I have no doubt that she'll accomplish big things in this league. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Gray. Parker with the screen. From 12 feet out. And it's Gray missing. And it's New York's ball. Ionescu right side. Pass to Stewart. And 
she drops in the layup off glass. Another bucket from Stewart, who's having a nice game offensively. She's a well-rounded player. Here's Billings. Here's Parker. No good on the three. And so it's New York with it. They have a 19-point lead. And John Quell Jones gets double teamed. Here's Han. And it's Billings with the rebound. And here are the Dream. Pass to McDonald. Over Han. Easy jumper from very short distance. Elite when it comes to leaping. McDonald can more than handle herself down low. Now here is Ionescu. Now here's Jones. Elbow shot on the way. And the Liberty getting another bucket right there. They've been able to depend on her offense all game, guys. She's just not wasting any chances, any shots she's had. And if they want to make things even easier on themselves here late in the ball game, I got an idea. Just keep getting her the basketball. First team foul. Liberty substitution. Number 44, Benija Laney. Here's Parker on the wing, Harry McDonald. Outside Howard, the three. McDonald, shot clock at five. Howard, the screen. Outside McDonald. No good from outside. On offense, here the Liberty. 19 point game. Ionescu outside. hard that time and she'll get two shots at the line that one on Howard well it's still early on in her career but I'm excited to see what Han Shu can do in this league one of the tallest players in the WNBA right now once she hones in that skill and becomes more comfortable she's gonna be unstoppable And she makes the first. And as the league continues to grow, we're seeing upgrades in the TV and streaming deals. Just so many options. Broadcast TV gets a few games. Then you got cable, streaming. Name a way to watch a game, and the WNBA has you covered. And that diversity of how you show a game, it brings in different audiences, makes things more accessible to a larger group of people. She's done a better job of getting to the line here in the second half because in the first half, she was kind of just settling a little bit. Atlanta calls timeout. with it. Pass to Billings. Howard with the ball. Fires the three. 
bangs home the trifecta. Well, despite the play of the team, she has done exceptionally well here. Now Ionescu. Jones outside. Stewart guarded by Howard. Stewart inside. Howard's there. Laney with it. Gray picks her up. Here's Stewart. It's rebounded by Atlanta. And here's McDonald. To the middle. Gray with the bucket. Great trip down the floor. McDonald working it to an uncovered player. Smart basketball. Here's Ionescu. The playoff format, top eight teams, regardless of conference, make it. Three game first rounds, five game semis and finals. How do you guys like that? Well, I love it. You know, I love the playoff format. My favorite part is just one 18 bracket. Get the best squads in there. And that first round is great. The first two games at the better seeded team. So if you're the higher seed, you really want to sweep and avoid that winner take all game three on the road. A top five pick by Dallas back in 2017. Alicia Gray is a big time scoring guard. Pass to Laney. Ionescu on Parker defending. Now Stewart. Brianna Stewart draws the double. Six on the shot clock. Benajah Laney from deep. And it's Billings with the rebound. And they can tack on a few more points onto this run. And boy, Blake, it's getting to be a big one. Yeah, you got to think the defense needs a stop here. Now here's Jones. Pass to Ionescu. Laney. Here's Jones. Back to Laney. The basket good off the assist from Jonquel Jones. A wing who will stretch the floor. Laney very effective from beyond the arc. Now here's Gray. About three seconds between the shot clock and game clock. And here's McDonald. And can't cash in from close range. Now here is Ionescu, guarded by McDonald. Ionescu outside. And so New York takes this one by a big margin. A resounding victory for them and an enemy territory, no less. It was enemy territory. But with the way that they controlled the game, they took the crowd completely out of it. That's how to get it done on the road. And that's a wrap, everyone.